What's going on everybody? My name is Will. I'm joined here by Darian. Hello. And today we're bringing you our inaugural episode or our episode what zero episode one of uh, Limited Eats. Yes. Yes. And, uh, we'll, we'll duck. Oh, well, we got uh, Darren. Do you want to tell us what we got? Uh, so this week we basically tried Applebee's Cheeto wings. So we tried uh, both the regular Cheeto wings and the hot Cheeto wings. So we tried the bites and the actual wings itself. Yeah, yeah, and and, uh, it was a, uh, it was nice. Uh, it was, uh, it quite, was, a, quite uh, enjoyable. It was very interesting, though. <laughs> it was a, it was a very interesting uh, experience, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that at, like towards the end, like yes. uh, about the food. <laughs> well, let's get to it. It's like, uh, Darren, Dar Dar how are you doing today? How how was your day? I'm doing good. I you know, day's been chill. I got my booster shot today, mm -hmm. so it's been sleepy, sleepy time, sleepy mode for me, but. Not that bad. Not that bad. Pretty yes. cool. How are well, you today? Good. Tired, as always, mm. considering I work nights. Mm. Uh, I'm probably going to get a coffee uh, at the start of my shift, so that way I have something to keep me through the whole day. Or the whole mm. night, technically. And then yeah. after work, I'm going to get some melatonin, so that way see if I could knock my ass out. <laughs> so you just get coffee to just give you that extra boost, and then just basically drug yourself at night to sleep oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just just because i've been running like on five hours six hours like these last couple days even though i've been trying to get a full night's sleep which is weird like my mm. body's gotten used to that whole five hours kind of thing now <laughs> and, and i take naps during work too and it's like that i should i should be able to like go and do my stuff but it's whatever yeah i feel it i feel it mm, right. so and, should we should we talk about how, how we like, came across we... These well, yeah, so. like, I can't remember this because I heard about it on another podcast and I was like, oh, I, you know, I, I wanted to see that. I didn't even know it was a thing until you had told me and you were asking like, oh, do you want to go try these? And I was like, ooh, that sounds like an interesting idea. Like, sure, why not? Well, like, yeah, absolutely. I, I was like, why not be our first episode would be like trying out some kind of Cheetos wings at Applebee's. Yes. And, you know, as stated before, it was definitely a uh, very very interesting it was very interesting yes um but i guess not everybody would know what applebee's is right or i'm not sure of that i'm i'm pretty sure like in america there's like america. hundreds of like oh, oh we'll, we'll discuss uh some of that in, in the fact section uh mm. when you go ahead and read those like we'll, we'll delve into that um, right, right. that specific one about how how many people possibly know what applebee's is uh, mm -hmm. uh, see. um getting the food though like like on your way over there like like i texted you and, and you were like <laughs> you were late you were slow let's be honest about this but well, to be honest i only found out where they were at like maybe like yeah. 30 minutes prior so yeah to be fair i <laughs> did plan it as if we were going to the one by my house because you know the one by my house it's not very far so i was under the assumption that's where we were going and then you tell me like it's 30 minutes or so before like oh yeah by the way we're going to this one which was like 30 minutes away from me and i was like you didn't even tell me that if you told me i i would have had to like left already i would have had been like leaving the house Oh yeah, no, that was me. my fault because I I yes. decided to that... call and ask. <laughs> I was like, oh hey, you know, let me let me double check to make sure that you know Applebee's has these because I've heard that they don't. Uh, and I called the first one, which was just north of where I'm at. Um, it was pretty close. It wasn't that bad to get off the freeway to get to it. And mm -hmm. uh, the guy I was talking to said that they only had the, I think the uh, hot the hot cheetos ones and i was like mm. oh okay so then i immediately thanked them hang up and called a different one by the way <laughs> call, calling applebee's is, is uh not yeah, the best because no? uh, it's Ooh. like it's an automated system you call a number oh. and then, even though you're calling the restaurant's number they're like do you want to speak to somebody or do you want to hear about ideas so i'm like i just want to talk to somebody okay That's and then elevated. yeah i know it's strange it's not directly to the person it's like uh, a bit of a middle ground so yeah, i get on the line with the second one and then I talked to the girl, and she says, hold on, give me a second. And I'm like, okay, elevator music playing, do-do-do-do-do, talking about advertisements, about Alpies and whatnot. 
And then she comes and is like, yeah, we have we have both. And I'm like, cool, do you also have X, you know, uh, which is the, because uh, I was asking specifically about the wings. And I asked, well, do you have the cheesy bites? Uh, and she's like, yeah, we have those too. I'm like, okay. So then I text you. I'm like, hey, we're going right here. And you're like, well, why didn't you tell me that earlier? And I'm like, well, I just really found out. <laughs> so, bit of bit of a gaffe on my end right there to, to, to say, hey, here's where we're going. Probably should have figured this out maybe a day sooner. Yes, so to be fair, I was not late because of me. I was late because of you. That is, I will <laughs> And I barely got there before you did. Like, maybe, like, well, ten minutes before? Yeah, well, I think you were a bit closer or you just made good time. Because when I had left, there was already a bit of traffic. And as I was driving through the freeway... I was just, you know, kind of passing the slow people. Obviously not speeding. I'm a responsible driver. That's um, bullshit. I've never, but but I've never soon driven as, But as soon as I got off the freeway, I just hit, like, this wave of traffic. And <laughs> you were already there. You are like, all right, I'm going to get us a booth or a table. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm almost there. And then <laughs> you were like... All right, what do you want to drink? Like water. You're like, all right, you don't want a margarita. <laughs> like no. Like, and I'm trying to drive, and you're just texting me as I'm moving through the slow moving traffic, and I'm like, I'm like down the street, like I'm almost there, and you're like, you're like five blocks away. <laughs> like no, I was literally just stuck in the s- slowest moving traffic possible, and. I didn't even really see the Applebee's until I was like right there and I was like, oh, it's right here. Cool. I can get out of this slow moving traffic. No, no, stay. Please. Forever. (laughs) Funnily enough, though, when I pulled in, I was going to park on that side, but I was like, no, I don't really want my car there. That's like a weird spot. So I like went all the way around and then I parked in the front, which coincidentally happened to be next to your car, Yes. which I did not know that until we were leaving. Yeah, and I, and I was thinking about it like uh t- like the very end, uh not spoiling the food, but like at, like when we were leaving, uh you had to go to the bathroom, and I was like, oh well, imagine she parked next to my car, and I happened to remember what your car looked like, cause you hadn't seen my car, cause I had to get a different car, uh, yeah, whole other issue. But um, I went there and I saw I was like, oh hey, your car's right next to me. So then I just waited. And I was going to have some snarky remark about, like, don't be, you know, you got to stop following me, Jenna. You know, I'm like, uh, I have a restraining order and some kind of <laughs> bullshit. But, like, you're like, oh, hey, I guess your car, you're parked next to each other. And I'm like, well, yeah. It's what's, not like you were supposed to know. What's so funny was when I walked out and I didn't see you there, I was like, where did he go? And I just walked out. I'm like, oh, I guess he left. But then I was like, no, you want me there's to wait no there for way. You? I was like, no, there's no, because I was under the assumption that you had already just kind of took off, like you already went home. So I was like, oh, yeah, oh, okay. De- not even saying bye. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But I'm like, no, I know this guy. He he's gonna mess with me some way. Like, where's he at? And then I see you there, and I'm like, did I park next to your car? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty interesting. It was a better parking spot though, definitely. It was. It has weird parking on the side, but yeah. Yeah, I think I, mean, it, I think in I think in general though, like you thinking about making a scene in the parking lot. I feel we were already kind of doing that in the restaurant. Oh no! As, oh my god! Yeah, our conversations that we have uh, in public, we should never have those. But we in shouldn't the be allowed outside in general. No, but yeah, here we are making a podcast about food. Uh, yeah, especially uh, the table that was behind us. Like I know they could hear behind us. you or behind me. Uh, behind me. Okay. Uh, I definitely could tell they could hear us. Like we they were a bunch of old not. people too. Yeah, <laughs> we s- we sat next to these poor old people, and they had to listen to the dumbest things being said. <laughs> like, Do you remember what all those were? Uh, I don't know. We we said so much stuff, but we mainly focused on the food. Oh, I know, yeah, like I know, like as as soon. As we sat down, I was immediately trying to play like the trivia game, and you did not want to pay the dollar ninety nine to play the trivia game. You which... also offered me to have the pass for it. I mean, like, when when's next time we're gonna come here? Yeah, again? yeah. Well, no, it was just a pass for like I think for that time that you were there. I'm not too sure. So I'm only there for five minutes. Here's twenty bucks for a fast pass or something like that. It wasn't. It wasn't like twenty bucks. I think it was like I don't even remember. It wasn't twenty bucks though. I was exaggerating. God, woman. Yeah, I know. You were exaggerating over a dollar ninety nine too, but you know. Ooh, here what's we the plea? Dollar ninety nine. 
You got mobile so, games on your phone. Why don't you just sit there and doodle the thing? Well, we could have played trivia and we could have beat everybody else at the restaurant. Because we'd be the only ones playing. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I was gonna do. We didn't know they were in. We could have. We could have came up with like a team name, you know? Like we could have been cool. It would have been like. Our, been our team fun. name is Single Brain Cell. Let's be honest. <laughs> single Brain Cell. We cannot be allowed to hang out together because we just <laughs> are that dumb. <laughs> that is very true. Oh, uh, I think it was funny though, because as soon as I came into the restaurant, I was like, "Oh, I'm just looking for my friends." And they're like, oh, what's your name? I'm like, oh, Darian. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's over here. <laughs> and then, like, in my head, I was like, oh, yeah. They yeah, made I, the joke about that. Yeah. Um, I, 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 was, my lines. <laughs> I was just like, I just, I'm just looking for the weirdo sitting by himself in this restaurant. And, and they then, take you to somebody else. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, what if they just take me to, like, somebody entirely different <laughs> that just looks like. Or dress like slightly similar. It just gives off that weird vibe. Like they just take me next to another person. Like ah, here's your friend. I'm just like, no, that is not. <laughs> but he might have better conversation than the other guy. Let's try this out. <laughs> just Let's be see like, how you this know goes. Be like, you know what? You you could be a replacement. You could. You be can't a be any worse than what I have to deal you with can't. already. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like maybe you could fill in from time to time. Mm -hmm. like, you could be like part time. Kind of part time will. Yeah. Part time that would be will. Cool. Yeah, part-time yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not full-time well, but part-time well. You know, the, yeah, it only offers you know, uh, 32 hours a week, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, for you California know, like, standard. You know, just like once in a while, just like, hey, hey part-time well, hey. It's like phone a you friend. Wanna, yeah, you're like, hey, you want to go have like a normal like friend dinner? That would be cool. We could talk about like cool stuff. Yeah, you know, then, I don't have to deal with this guy for like a day or yeah. something. Yeah, I'm like, I need two days. That's my mental real. health day. <laughs> Yeah, my mental health day is, is using a fill-in for me, <laughs> for hanging out with you. Uh, like the, 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 a generic Will, uh, off-brand Will, you know, uh, <laughs> like, like the Walmart version of it. You got Equate Will right there. And I'm I feel like I feel like you're already the Walmart version of Will, though. That, no, I would get more scrutinized by it, you know, by the FDA. Mm, so I, like I have, high, I have taken the higher standards, so that is, that is a compliment, so thank you. That is true. <laughs> I, I feel special and now i feel entitled and i am now uh the uh generic <laughs> brand yeah i will take that <laughs> yeah i mean the walmart brand the great value i mean it's pretty much just the same thing just yeah, slapped a label on it quite frankly and it's yeah. cheaper so it's like you know it's, I'm just gonna... uh, yeah no but that's a whole other conversation Whole other thing. yeah yeah because because uh going over there like when i was like looking up to see how far it was gonna be it was like maybe like about like 20 minutes and then mm -hmm. i was getting hit by traffic too um throughout most of it and i was like fuck she's gonna end up beating there uh getting there before me even though she said she took like 30 <laughs> minutes to get there and so yeah um i got through all that traffic uh i hustled um people were slow and obviously people were idiots that don't know how to drive uh, so then when I got there, like, it, like, uh, it, it surprised me too. I was like, Oh, there's an Apple right there. And so I got to it, pulled up, parked right there and saw that on the left, there was a door that said like, uh, take out or dine in or, or drive through whatever, whatever it was something that clearly expressed, uh, pick up your food here kind of thing and leave, which is like, Oh cool. That's, <laughs> that's all about me. But I don't think we're going to be eating in the car recording this because you know, we don't have, uh, the right equipment set up yet. For it, but mm -hmm. in the future, maybe instead of sitting down and eating at a restaurant, we'll just get it and eat in our cars and yell at each other in a parking lot or something. While people drive <laughs> around, and be like, "Who the fuck are those people? What's going on it'll, here?" It'll just become like an ASMR podcast. No, don't, don't. Just, I like, don't want to hear it. Just like lean in, just get like the crunch and I everything hate ASMR. and the chewing sound. I hate ASMR. You know, just the wet rattle slapping. people's ears. Yeah, the wet slapping. <laughs> dude, dude, I've been like listening uh, to. Oh, I found an ASMR of a girl uh, who like does bedtime stuff, mm -hmm. and. Uh, the only reason I cared about her is because she had these like little, um, it turns out there are things for your face that massage it. Yeah. Uh, and like, they're like glass orbs with like mm -hmm. a glass tube and they have water yeah. in them and glitter. Yeah. The, uh, the ice globe thingies. Yeah. And I thought, Oh cool. That's a fidget toy. No, it's for your face. For yeah. Something. It's, it's for your skin. Um, I think it's like inflammation or something cause they freeze it. 
I'm not yeah. too sure. I'm That's not what my sister too, like, said, well that you have to put in the freezer or refrigerator and... You know, it helps with that. I'm like, but that looks like a fidget toy because it was cute and it was just swirling around. So I'm going to obviously get that from my girlfriend uh, for a trip to tennis service. I'm like, here, play with this. Yeah, they look really relaxing too. Like, I feel like that would help me relax just like using that. Even if in some way it doesn't really actually do anything, I would be like, ah, nice and cold. This feels nice. Yeah. And then you start trying to eat it, and you're like, wait, no, this this is not the right thing. You would try to eat it. I I would not. I have actual ice cream to not eat it. (laughs) <laughs> I'll lick it and be like, my tongue is stuck. Oh, man. So should we get into how the actual, how the wings went? Uh, how that I mean, was? Oh, oh, how that was? How that uh, was. Should we talk about that that interesting experience? We could. Uh, well, 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 let's save that part. Let's talk about uh, uh, the, the facts right now. Let's, let's get okay. into that. Oh, okay. Cool. So... I don't really know the facts by heart, so <laughs> Google is my friend. Yeah, I also sent you the link for it, too. Yes, I have it. So, some Applebee's facts. Uh, it's been around since the 80s. Like, yes. ooh. So, mm-hmm. it was apparently founded in, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Decanter? It's, it's a canter. Probably about alcohol that. In, right? <laughs> no um <laughs> uh georgia by bill and tj palmer applebee's was originally inspired by another restaurant that was popular in atlanta during the 1970s called billy's billy so it's like when your grandpa yells at you you know you start yelling <laughs> billy billy my boy uh, yeah i absolutely see that a- being in, in atlanta is, yeah, I see that, too. That's definitely an interesting name. I bet they had really good food, too. I mean, I don't know if they still do. I don't know if that's still around. Probably. But, I uh, mean, it was popular. It didn't say it's concurrent and it's still here. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is my favorite fact. So the what? restaurant was almost called Cinnamon's. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds like a, a stripper name. Kind of thing. I was just thinking that. It sounds like a strip club. We've got to stop hanging out. That's the it's, thing. We've got to stop sounds... meeting in those bars and be like, oh, I'm here for the drinks and there's happy that... hour. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely gives off like strip club vibes 100%. Even though it's a family um, restaurant, I would assume. Yeah. Oh, cinnamons and peppers. Oh, that's even worse. That makes it worse. Cinnamons would have kind of been okay, but peppers yeah that would have like mm-mm. and peppers yeah oh and most awkwardly uh what is it apple bees apple oh with the apple buys apple bees with the same pronunciation so it's still apple bees but spelled with a y instead which that's interesting i suppose um yeah because and... well it's very similar but as uh, you, you could see uh they had to change it because of a trademark and licensing Mm, but like yes. peppers, I would think Dr. Pepper. Like well, it was going to be pepper. cinnamons and peppers. It was cinnam- It was going to be cinnamon. So basically, and it's a restaurant that gives you spices. Yeah, that's the thing that's weird about the name is that what are you going to get? So there's actually you get either um, cinnamon or you get uh, pepper. That's why I, you know, <laughs> yeah. Funnily enough, uh, so there's a shopping center near my house, and there's like plenty of different stores and like restaurants, places you can eat and stuff. That's what a shopping and center usually is. For yeah. the longest for the longest time, um, there was this one place there and it was called Daphne's. And I was always under the impression that it was a coffee shop. Is that the one that looks for her glasses? No, that's the hot one. No. You okay. don't even know. No. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know your Scooby-Doo. You don't even know. <laughs> but um, anyway, so... I assumed I was under the impression that this was a coffee shop because right next door is like this donut place. And then, you know, next door to that, there's like a Panda Express. So I don't know why. So food. I just, I just always thought, yeah, this is coffee um, because I would walk by and it looked like a coffee place. Um, but as it turns out, I just so happened to look into the directory because they're always adding more stuff to the shopping center. And apparently it is not a coffee shop. It is, in fact, a Mediterranean food, which... I would have never guessed that from the name Daphne's. <laughs> like, uh, I I was very surprised by that. I was like, oh, this whole time I had Mediterranean food like close by because I usually order Mediterranean food out because the other ones tend to be further away from me. And this whole time I had one like 10 minutes away 
And so that was something. Um, but I would have never guessed that a place called Daphne's was Mediterranean food. I, I really just, I don't know why I thought it was a coffee shop. I just always thought it was a it, coffee it, shop. It's, you know, an English name, and Mediterranean food is in English. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. assume that. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely a restaurant called Cinnamons and Peppers. I I wouldn't even begin to think, what are they serving, you know? Obviously, like, things laced in cinnamon or pepper, because it's yeah. all the spices that they had. They didn't. They couldn't afford salt yeah. or paprika, apparently, in the, in the what, the 70s, the 80s? Yeah. I, I mean, know. granted, Applebee's still is kind of like, you know, a little a little out there. You're not too sure at first. If, if you didn't know Applebee's, I feel if you first hear it, you're like... Okay, it's a restaurant of some kind. There's food there. There's I assume food there's food there. there. Or there, there's or you know, there's bees. There. And it's got honey. <laughs> it's like some weird fucked up apple you eat, and it's got bees inside of it. That would be horrible. Just that would be that. horrifying. That'd be, that'd be, that yes, because then you eat it. And you go, mm. It's like why that is that would be awful buzzing? to the bees. That would be <laughs> oh yes, like, think of the bees, bees, not the person who's yeah, eating think, it. Yeah, think think of the bees. Think of the children. Bees are important. They're very important bees. Yes, yeah, so obviously, because uh, they fertilize things. Or, or yeah, spread up. Not pollen. fertilize. <laughs> they no, shut pollinate. up, pollination. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, they put on their farmer's head and pull out the good old fertilizer and <laughs> till the land and everything. I want a picture of that now. I want a picture <laughs> I of, want of a, a farmer bee. bee. I want yes. a farmer bee. It's got to have the overalls. It's got to have yes. the hay in its mouth. Yes. It's got to have no, that, that, yeah, the, the little, straw hat. Yeah, the straw hat. And I need a tractor in the background and, like, um, it's, it's like scaled to size maybe so technically the bee is like you know really yeah. tiny compared to it i want him like having his hand like wiping the sweat off his forehead after like a long hard day at work does he have a cloth or no no he's no? a hard worker he doesn't need a cloth mm-hmm, he's mm-hmm, a hard working mm-hmm. bee and, and he's got like six boots on or something <laughs> he just has his gloves and everything mm-hmm Oh, I want that. That's a cute. That's a cute image. Uh, so, good thing you're an artist. Technically, you could draw. <laughs> I will attempt it. So, <laughs> apparently, there are now more than 1,900 locations in the world. So, ooh. So, so, so not a regional thing like you thought. Not yeah, definitely not like I thought. Actually, this is interesting. So they're dotted around the globe in 15 countries like Brazil, Guatemala, Honduras, Greece, Indonesia. Ooh, I cannot pronounce that. Kuwait. Sorry yeah, if I'm no, not I'm saying that right. That's, Lebanon, that's Saudi Arabia, China, and Egypt. Not hearing of... England on there. Yeah, I'm not hearing England on there. Uh, because of this, the company employs about 28,000 people. So that's interesting. I would have never guessed that Applebee's was in like 15 countries, like any of these, actually. That's pretty really cool. That's super dense considering 15 countries only has 1,900 locations. Like, I would expect 100 locations around the world, not in, like, 15 places. Oh, then Mm. it's not showing the whole list. It's like, what? Yeah, I would want to see, like... That's only 10. How their food, and like how count, the food differs from each other. I'm pretty other. sure it, it differs by regional, by the things that are in there. Um, yeah. That but there's four other countries on there that are not listed. So, uh, you know, I would be surprised to see what the other ones are. Maybe there'd be, maybe there's uh, England and France are on there and, and yeah, maybe, maybe Canada. Because, you know, like, uh, it seems like they're hitting, like, mostly or close around there. So why mm-hmm. wouldn't it be there? I don't see, I, don't, I, I wouldn't see Russia would be on there because, you know. Yeah. What, what would you have? <laughs> they would just go there for the apples and be like, it's cold. <laughs> for the apples. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> that's have... really cool though. Like, I, yeah, I definitely interested to see like the different kind of like food they have on their menus. Like, oh, that's cool. I just the, like food. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's why we're making a food podcast. It's like, yes. Well, the uh, thing that has there is 1,900 locations and 28,000 employees. That means there's only 20 people per Applebee's. <laughs> I mean, that's right, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the math. That's I, twenty. That, that, that's not I, a lot of people. <laughs> and that's on average. What if they're seeing people have more and some have less? I well, I feel like nowadays, you know, a lot of restaurants are kind of like lacking in like employees lately. Well, nobody wants to work at something like that. I know. All you have is people like that berate you and be like, "Oh, you got my order wrong," and you got a chef back there that's like, "I, I don't know how to cook." Mm-hmm. 
I, I do I do have a lot of respect for servers and people that work in the food industry. Cause Absolutely. Like, you are brave to do that. I could never do that. Because you do customer service. It's along the same line. Somebody comes in and yells at you yeah, for being an idiot. Yeah, but it's but it's worse because you have to deal with like food. Like you have to order their food. You Mostly have to like. It for them. <laughs> you have to like you know get it right or if like something's wrong you know, like if, for me it's just different it's just two completely different worlds like yes it's still customer service but i feel like servers just have it worse because you know they kind of rely on tips as well Absolutely. so it's like you just happen to get that's like a whole that one. other thing yeah that's a whole about. other thing but yeah no you people that do that like you're brave i could never do that i'm mm -mm, i would panic too much yeah, because you make you make less than minimum wage working at a restaurant, so you are dependent on tips. So you do have to eat a lot of ass in order to be able to scrum yeah. scrum by. So it's not for everybody. Just like eating ass, it's not for everybody to work at a, at a food <laughs> restaurant. You know, because oh, so more gosh. power to you. Uh, hit me up if you uh, if you have any questions about it. But uh, side note. <laughs> <laughs> I think now I think now you're getting off topic. You said uh, eating ass and you were just, just zeroed in. Tangent, just zeroed like in a, on a eating life, ass. Lifetime uh, wants and needs. <laughs> but that's a whole thing. All right, let's continue on with your facts. So Applebee's is owned by IHOP, which I definitely did not know that. Mm -hmm. So back in 2007, Dine Equity, the same parent company that runs IHOP, acquired the Red Apple restaurant chain. Yeah, so, uh, uh, going off of, of that, I, I, I'm, like, confused uh, about about the selection of food that they have because it's two different things. I understand it, it's two different restaurants. Mm -hmm. But well, as, you'll, as you'll see later on when we discuss about the food, the quality is uh, different. Uh, and I, I can see why I prefer IHOP over generally almost any restaurant, to be honest. But to, to be fair, though, I think it just depends on the location as well. Um, so like a good, good example, um, there's an Italian restaurant, Chico's, that the one closest by me, I don't really like going to that often. It's kind of like in a weird spot and it's not really great service. Uh, but the other day, my mom and I happened to go to a completely different one that was a bit farther away. Um, we just happened to be out and about and saw it or like, oh, you know, why not? And the environment was so vastly different. It was just so welcoming, very like family oriented, like just very like warm. Like all the servers were super sweet, really nice, really like thoughtful. Like it was just such a totally different vibe. So I really think it depends more on like location. Absolutely. It, definitely. Yeah, location is, is everything for a lot of this stuff. Mm hmm. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, uh, especially like when I when I used to work at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, ours... You worked at Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese in, I never in knew 2017. That. Or I 2016 never knew that. to 2017? How was, what was that 19? like? Like, what did you do? Oh, I dressed up as a mascot, and I loved it. <laughs> did I, you really? I loved oh. it. It was my favorite thing to do was to be the mascot. You... Like, oh, that's I, I wore great. that for eight hours a day for like a month straight, and I did not complain. Cause it was, it's I mean, not it like, got hot. It got yeah. I was so like, hot. is it uncomfortable? I would think because it's uh, like it insane. wears on your on your back. Considering I have mm. back problems, um, right? And like shoulder problems, but like uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 the head was like heavy, but and the clothes like uh, uh it was uh overalls, and then okay. you throw on the the shirt, and mm -hmm. then you slip on the gloves for the for the hands, which went all the way up to like your elbows or past your elbows, um, mm -hmm. and then you had the shoes on. And then you threw the helmet on, or, mm. or, or effectively what the head was. And you know I could yes. dance at the parties and whatnot, so I had to learn the dances. And then I would bust a move every now and then <laughs> during it, and people people loved me. And then you know I'd walk around and like uh, entertain the kids and and say hi and do whatnot. Like uh, every time like when the Chucky had to go out there and dance, like I would always be the one to do it because I would I did kid check, so I was the one like it was in the front. And it would stamp you and let you in and, and have a discussion with you. Also, a stressful job dealing with that, especially when you had uh, family members coming in and be like, oh, and it was full and they had to wait, you know, for like 30 minutes to an hour to mm -hmm. get in there. And like, mm -hmm. uh, not a, not the best time having to like keep telling them, yeah, I don't know, or yeah, it's going to be a while and, and whatnot. And they're just getting more and more upset as it goes on. So, That's one funny. of the reasons why I didn't like stay was because, yeah. you know, not, not the best. Uh, but yeah. we were better than the other one because the other one was like apparently like in the ghetto, so they actually had to have a security guard there all the time. 
Uh, oh, I think us, that's the one so by me. I think that's the yeah. one by me. Yeah, that one definitely. I can say with fact that yes, <laughs> it is not yeah. a good location. No, that's cool that's, though. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, that's why it's like a, I I thoroughly enjoyed that. But you know, it, I only got like maybe at the most like thirty hours a week. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I had mo- most of the week was usually off for me, and you know, living like. 30 to 45 minutes away, you know, driving a, a truck that wasn't great. Oh, yeah. Which kind of didn't really pay a lot. Yeah. So that's that why I had to go to something else. Yeah, that doesn't really sound fulfilling. No. In, in I mean, it was, it was, it was happy for me. Like I loved yeah, it. At least you had, yeah. At least you had fun with it. Like you enjoyed it. Yeah. Cause so. I, 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 the one, the, the best memory I have from there is a, a little girl who it was her birthday and you know, the, the family. Uh, so if, so if you guys ever do go to Chuck E. Cheese, uh, go on like a, on like monday or tuesday go like on one of those days because it's gonna be pretty slow and uh, usually you have to pay a deposit to get the area in the back with like the long tables for the parties if you just go there on those days and just ask they'll give it to you like mm-hmm. you don't have to pay anything because no one's gonna use it because it's it's the, literally their slow days the only time it ever picks up is thursday friday saturday and then obviously sunday mm-hmm. but monday through wednesday go there and you can have your party in the back you won't get any of the special stuff like chucky dancing and whatnot but um, if you ask, yeah, Chuck will come around and, and come do that because he does have to, like, I think every two hours come out or every hour has to come out uh, for the dance show they have. So you uh. obviously will be able to see him and, and, you know, enjoy that. And it's awesome. Uh, but, yeah, so that girl, uh, she was like a little kid and she was scared of me. And, you know, <laughs> I played being scared of her. And eventually, like, after spending some time together, uh, she got comfortable with me and we actually had a little fun together. And when she was leaving... Uh, she thanked me, and when they asked her, it's like, are you afraid of Chuck? And she's like, no, I want to come here more now. Uh, I love Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, and Aww. I was, like, really heartwarming because that was me when I was a kid. Like, I love yeah. Chuck E. Like, I didn't know that. My family did tell me. It's like, yeah, you love Chuck E. Cheese. And I'm like, oh, well, that explains why I'm so uh, caring uh, as him. It's like, yeah, I was there, and that is one of those great moments. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, you got to, you got to be, like that favorite chucky for that kid as yeah chucky and everybody else you. hated that had been chucky yeah i would think because <laughs> it gets really uncomfortable i would imagine wearing like such a heavy suit like, yeah big, big suit. well that and like the awkwardness of all of it but yeah uh, there yeah. was one guy who had to do the dance and uh for the birthday parties and when he came out he forgot he didn't put the shirt on and everybody was laughing at him and it was like a really funny thing uh for it and i was like oh that feels bad but like you know it, it was a good comical humor uh, for yeah it. like no one was like oh that's fake chuck your one they just all laughed because he didn't have a shirt on and yeah they pointed it out. <laughs> he was just naked <laughs> yeah he had the arms on and he the just legs. had the hat he was just streaking chucky <laughs> yeah he was effectively he was like hey <laughs> i'm i'm chonk my name is chonk i'm oh, chucky's I'm cousin <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get to that last fact Oh, yeah. So um, I want to end it here, this fact, because I think it's very important. I think it's a very important fact. Obviously is, very important. That's why it's the uh, last fact. Which is the chain took soda off the kids' menu. Right. So, uh, yeah. When was this? Uh, it's saying back in December. I do not know a s- certain like date, but it announced that it would join IHOP, Wendy's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, Subway, and Panera in removing the syrupy drink from the menus handed to the little ones. Well, which so, is a good move. It's, it's more of a healthy uh, move because a lot of people, yes. places turn to offer juice and milk as opposed mm-hmm. to soda. Yeah, I remember, like, when I was a kid, like, now that, like, you think about it, it's crazy, like, you know. No, let's not you think. It'll overwork little... our brain cells. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much. Thinking. Oh, memories. Uh, it's just like you know you get your meal like from mcdonald's or from wherever and then you automatically get a soda yeah like the and small size or the child size yeah like it's still like little but i mean you know over time you know you depending kinda, on how often you go yeah depending on how often you go yeah that's like a bit much but i think that's that's smart to do yeah, that the juice still has a lot of sugar and milk and yeah drink it, but it's still better than soda yeah and there's like other stuff that they can drink too i'm sure oh yeah um, like water yeah like water water's good for you i love water, water. i have it helps i have a gallon i have a gallon water bottle that i drink all the there's time there's no way you have a gallon water bottle I'm i sure do you get half a gallon i water do bottle. no i have a gallon it is a gallon I, I doubt you drink that all day i do i drink it damn 
That is a lot of water. I love water. Like, I got so tired because I, I have, like, I big tired. cups. Yeah. And I would, like, fill it up. But I would always have to refill it because I drink so much water that I was like, you know what? Like, fuck it. I'm just going to get this big gallon water jug and just drink from it. And you got to send me the link for it because I'd love to buy that. Yeah. Well, mine's pink. Do you want to be matchies? Sure. I don't care. I mean, I okay. bought something that was, like, uh, pink or we whatnot. Can... And they're yeah, like, why don't you get this on, like, a, like guy colors or, or cool colors and i'm like well because i'm weird. i don't i don't really think there's such a thing as guy colors there's just uh, colors. A, a masculinity kind of thing i don't know well but you're gonna um, the guy who has the rainbow socks with individual toes yeah exactly so i'm like there's really no such thing as like no for me colors. no because like, they they are almost knee high i think they are knee high but like i, I would love to have <laughs> leggings like that i yeah uh, i hate that you have those i, I really they're do. good they just cut the circulation I off to your toes I hate that you have those. They're I think, so good. I think those are the most ugliest type of socks that people could ever have. Like, but honestly. They're amazing. I love them. They're my favorite things. It's like a lot up there with my wool socks I have for winter, which are very warm. Oof. Yeah. I only, uh, I only have like a, uh, it's like a pair of two. Then that was all you got for like, I think it was like $12. Mm-hmm. So they weren't cheap. Like for $12, you could basically buy like a, a pack of six or a pack of 10. Um, Wait, so you paid $12 for toe socks? For No, for wool socks. Oh, for the wool socks. Okay. I was going to say, I, you I forgot how much 12? I paid. I think I paid like $6 or $7 for like the okay. uh, the rainbow socks. Which I was going to say, you really only a pack paid of $12 for that. I was going to like really question you, you know. <laughs> I, I, I bought stupid things, let's be honest. <laughs> that is true. That is definitely true. 100%. Yeah. Oh man. So <laughs> well, that's the, that's the facts section right there, right? Yeah, that is the facts section or like yeah. mini facts about it. Yeah. If we have, if they ever have more uh, uh, deals and we decide to go there, uh, which which is very contested, uh, but we ain't <laughs> getting into that yet. We'll get that to later. Um, but uh, we'll have more facts to read in the uh, facts section of this podcast. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the to the uh, the publicity the the. The hoorah uh, of the, uh, the uh, what is it, the, uh, the wings. That will be these wings uh, for uh, Cheetos. The Cheeto wings, yes. yes. So uh, I have this article here. Oh, and I, I like, uh, I just want to read the title you of it. read the title? The title of it is just great because I just love how cringy it is. <laughs> Because it just says Applebee's gets dangerously cheesy with Cheetos inspired fan favorites at restaurants nationwide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at that and I was like, huh, interesting. Well, so- I I just also want to point out because oh, just the picture of like the advertisement for the wings, like it looks great. It it absolutely looks like, it looks amazing looks like it looks, it looks like beautiful treat. it looks it, does. Right. It, beautiful. it looks like it looks like something you'd want to have yeah it looks but we'll get into that later <laughs> we'll hard get into that well and we'll have we'll have a comparison of the uh of the pictures in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, podcast definitely. video you know on, on youtube uh definitely. so you go ahead and check that out if you're not already watching it there on our youtube channel which is uh weird kids gaming uh which you'll, you'll be able to see uh, an apples to apples comparison of uh, what yes. they have versus what we got. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and read the uh, the publicity. Uh, this is obviously from uh from uh, Buzzwire. Uh, so from Glendale, California. It says something cheesy is headed to Applebee's exclamation point. <laughs> Starting now for a limited time, a Cheetos uh, ha- registered the uh, trademark inspired menu, <laughs> including wings and cheesy or cheese bites. Will be available for dine in and to go at participating Alpes restaurants across the con- or the county country, country no, that country. is country. Yes, <laughs> I can't read. Obviously, this is why I'm doing the uh, the public the PR. Oh, uh, I want to say just re- I just want you to read that first paragraph and then Which I want to talk about it. The first paragraph after oh, that. Oh, so what makes this so deliciously unique? The menu features crispy breaded boneless wings toss an original cheetos wing sauce or cheesy or cheetos flaming hot registered trademark wing sauce and coated in crunchy cheetos crumbs or amp up the cheese with fried cheetos cheese bites toss an original cheetos original sauce or cheetos flaming hot sauce 
But hurry in because just like a bag, a full bag of Cheetos, these items won't be around for long. All right, so we'll go ahead and discuss that part right there. Yes, immediately. You want to go first? Let's... You want to go first for this? First of all, this this advertisement hypes it up. You know, they write about Absol- it beautifully. Uh, yeah, Absolutely, that's what they hundred percent job. Hyping it up, dude. A great job. We did not get that. <laughs> we did not get anything close to what they just described. Well, we, got, we got boneless. In that we got paragraph. boneless wings. Uh, we, got, yes. we got cheesy bites. That's what no, we got those. We, we didn't get the cheesy bites. We just got the bone. No, we did get the cheesy bites. You're right. So, how, how, how are you forgetting the food we eat? Oh my What's gosh, wrong with you? That... How do you do this? Now that I think about it, yeah, those were cheesy bites, right? They yes. They didn't really taste like cheesy bites. Well, I kept going on about the cheesy bites about it, and you're like, now you're just going, oh wait, that was cheese? Yeah, we could. Uh-huh. No, it was. I'm th- I'm mixing the two. Yeah, so we got both the cheesy bites and the wings. Um, and to start with, when first of all, it took a minute for them to make it. Like now that I think about it, it took them what, a minute. Which one did we get first? Did we get the bites? First we or got the wings first. We got the hot Cheeto. We uh the bites first. And when I first saw it, right away the presentation was very not appetizing because immediately I could see this grease just pooling at the bottom of the plate. Yeah, and absolutely. and the breading and like the breading and like, you know, obviously the advertisement pictures, like it looks great. It looks uh-huh, like because uh-huh. I think we got like perfect. over three uh, times, right? Like they had to come three times to deliver everything. Yeah. So. When I first tried it, immediately I could tell that they they had just been letting it sit there because it wasn't really hot. It was just kind of like starting to get a bit cold. It was hot and spicy, and, not hot in, in uh, temperature wise. Yeah, temperature cooking temperature. It was definitely like like warm. cooling down. Like it was getting cold. Like it wasn't. It was not warm. Um, and when I tried it, it was really weird because it just. It didn't taste right. It tasted like, which I'm sure they just got like frozen cheese and just coated it and then tossed it because oh, the absolutely. cheese texture did not taste correct to me. It tasted like chicken, basically. It kind of had mm. like a chicken leg texture yeah, to me. Anyways. That's what I want for my, my cheese is a chicken leg. Uh, it was like a very dry bite of cheese, which you would not expect that considering cheese has like fat and everything. And it's supposed to have to like sauce and stuff, right? Most yeah. of well, the moisture... <laughs> was on the outside which is the grease on the plate and the breading was actually like really mushy like mush. just really gross that that mush. Just, yeah it did not no <laughs> it did not look great and it did not taste great um and then i think yours came shortly after or a few minutes after they took a minute yeah, with yours I, I think we got the because you ordered the the spicy and yes. i ordered the regular so yes. we, we wouldn't have like four of everything. We'd just have two of everything or one mm. of everything. Yeah, and they gave you they give you like a lot too. Yeah, they obviously gave me more for my cheesy bites than they did for your spicy ones. Yeah, that is true. Um, and, and and your spicy ones didn't have as much crumbles as mine did. And mine was just like covered, and I started making jokes about it being cocaine, uh, which is another <laughs> thing we were talking about in the restaurant full of people. Was talking about uh, Cheetos yes. uh, <laughs> and the stuff he snorts. Obviously, like oh, this is his uh, cocaine. Like- this oh is his my crack. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a wonderful yeah. family restaurant, by the way. People were everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it was great. They totally enjoyed our presence, as you can mm-hmm. tell. They're yes. very lovely people to sit. That's why people were looking to. at us. <laughs> yeah. So your regular cheesy ones, um, they looked better in terms of like appearance. Uh, mm-hmm. Like they looked properly coated. They didn't look mushy, but your plate also had grease like and like oil like on the bottom oh of god the plate as well. it was it was a lot it, it was, was yeah a lot. it was it was very very bad um but i tried yours and yours definitely tasted exactly like the regular like plain cheetos like the cheesy like it had that cheeto flavor but mine mm-hmm. mine did not really mine had like a hint of the hot cheeto flavor yeah like, it, it got that really spiciness weird. that came with it yeah like it had the spice like you can taste that it was like hot cheeto but it wasn't like dead on like oh this is a hot cheeto but like your regular cheese one it's definitely like oh, okay this is cheeto like it tastes exactly like the chip i was um, trying to figure I, out if they actually had the sauce come with it because in the advertisement it's saying that it has the cheetos cheese sauce uh 
Is that the uh, little cup? I'm trying to think. Oh, was that what that was supposed to be? That little sauce thing? Is that? I, I would assume because I don't remember this thing's being coated in cheese at all or having a, a, a cheese texture to it. But that oh, was like the, the little cup was a dipping sauce. So, That's why I assume that. So I have um, Applebee's like actual advertisement pulled up here, um, which is the Cheetos boneless wings. Uh, it says saucy boneless wings, cheesy Cheeto goodness taking our boneless wings to the next level. Introducing Cheeto boneless wings only at Applebee's, a tasty combination of our famous boneless wings and cheesy Cheetos. They're available in both Cheetos Original and Flaming Hot. Get 10 saucy wings for only $9.99 and don't forget to try the Cheetos cheese bites. They're available now for limited time only. Our wings were definitely not sauced. No. At all. Well, unless that's no. what the other thing was, was that a dipping sauce. No, I don't know what that was, but that definitely it was, something. was not it. It was yeah. So they gave us this really weird, like funky sauce, to which we couldn't figure out. You yeah, you started breaking it down, it, and there was one element you couldn't figure out. I was I like, tasted, it tastes like ketchup. I yeah, I tasted. Obviously, they had mayonnaise. It was like an aioli of some si- uh some kind. Um, so it was like mayo. I tasted soy sauce, and there was ketchup, and there's like some other stuff in there. I'm sure. But it was really weird. It was a really weird taste. Yeah. Um, and it went good and, with the cheese bites, but not with the yeah. wings. With the cheese bites, it like helped. Like Especially mine, because I felt mine were lacking in flavor. Um, so it helped. Like It tasted a bit better. But I s- just couldn't get past the texture of the fact that the breading was just like mush. Like I literally was just eating. Mush yeah, there was like a, a little mound of mush of. Uh, yes. I would assume like, cr- like the crackly bits from the uh, the fryer, or maybe like that's where the rest of your your powdered uh, spicy uh, hot Cheetos uh, crumbles went. Was like into the yeah. oil and mixed and became like this mound of uh, that's just a, concentrated yeah. flavor. I which I didn't like, try. Yeah, I feel like they just kind of fried it. And just kind of put it on the plate, and just kind maybe of maybe thought that was an extra wing right there. there. I I wouldn't know. Um, the size of it could be like a little nuggy. <laughs> so then we got the wings, and I think I still I got mine first. Yeah, it was better because it was warm temperature wise. Um, and when I tried it, it did taste a lot better. I did enjoy it more than the cheesy bites. Um, texture wise, it had a good crunch. But it definitely was not saucy at all. I don't know what sauce they mean, but my yeah, it definitely didn't have it. Neither one of ours had it, I think, because um, yours just had the Cheeto crumble like on top, like the extra Cheetos. And the crumbles. Yeah, yours got that like a little bit of, like crumble. It absolutely um, did. But definitely, it was not saucy. So I was like, I was really confused to read that as. Like, they were supposed to be saucy, because ours definitely were not. The only sauce we got, which wasn't even sauce, was just grease, again, at the bottom of our plates. Mm-hmm. Um, the and growing people grow, you know? It's a yeah. Nice. And again, mine, like, the breading was just mush. Like, one side of it was just all mush from, like, the breading. And it just, <laughs> it just did not look good. But the wings did taste better. Like, I'll give them that, but just in general like the presentation and everything it just did not <laughs> it did not look great i'm actually going through the picture of uh my wings and i do see that grease and actually mine did have a regular hot cheeto crumble on top of like one. um but i definitely don't see i don't really see the sauce because it looks really dry. And it, has to, it has to be the other really one. Dry. It has to be the other sauce, like the dipping sauce that comes with it. Like, there's I'm no other sure. reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did want to read one more thing. Uh, let's see, uh, something. Oh, right, right. Uh, I, I was going to say, uh, on, on the, the PR, it says, and the help guests up their wing eating performance. And I did have, a, I have an issue with this one. Applebee's is <laughs> launching the ultimate accessory for the brand's messiest wings yet. Oh, <laughs> it's called the Shirtkin. Where the hell was our Shirtkin? Wait, what? Yes, it's with the uh, latest in wait. Cheeto, because that's what the Cheetos cheese is called Cheeto. 
which is a uh, Cheeto wrinkling technology. Couldn't say that word. I'm sorry. Uh, this shirt's napkin-like fabric allows fanta uh, fanatics to wipe their cheesy, saucy hands with ease. Good by clothes stained with Cheeto. The shirtkin has got you covered, literally. Where was our shirtkin? Nobody well, offered us anything. Well, it says for the exclusive drop, Applebee's will surprise super fans who like and engage with the brand's content over the coming weeks by sliding into their DMs to offer them their very own shirtkin. That so it's not a, a thing that's available to everybody. What? Uh, no, Why even apparently, offer it on apparently you have to like literally slide into their DMs and be like, "Yo." Applebee's. Uh, I could really use that nappy. <laughs> I feel like that has to be provided. That is an awkward thing because that's like a drug deal going on. Like, hey, the, you got that shirt again? The fact that it says cheesy saucy hands infuriates me because... We used no, a fork. Yeah, we, we used a fork, first of all. I, we and even using that. a fork, like, it wasn't even messy. It didn't... Like, even if they did It was put messy sauce, in the terms of greasy. Yeah. I, I, even if they put sauce, I felt it was, like, the minimum amount of sauce that they could have put. Like, it definitely was not... Like, I didn't look at the plate and thought, oh, wow, these are really, like, sauced up. Like, no, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, well, there's another pool of grease on my plate. Like, what is that? Unless that was the sauce itself, but I highly doubt that because it just looked gross. Yeah, because uh, looking at yours compared to mine for the wings, is like, mine looked like a burnt orange. Yours yes. are like bright red or, or dark red. Like yours look yes. way better than mine did. Um, and yours had more uh, crumbles on them mm -hmm. as opposed to mine because mine looked like it was more like oily, saucy kind of thing versus yes. yours. Yours definitely had more oil, Absolutely. especially your cheesy bites. I think your oh, cheesy yes. bites had like a the fourth cup oil. of like oil. I don't uh, They had or a, maybe a, like a less than that. They, they, what they did is they got the, the cooking oil and they just poured it on there. But like, is this enough? <laughs> this is the dipping sauce. Can you suck it through bite. a straw? Here you go. <laughs> that, that's that was the whole vibe I got there for. And we and we did sh test that. You did grab uh, yes. the cheesy bites and you squished it between uh, some napkins. And the amount of coverage <laughs> you got on that napkin was yes. insane. So I was very curious as to like the oil, uh, or if it was somehow the sauce. I could be wrong. Um, coming off of it, to me, I think it's still oil. Um, so I had grabbed one of the cheesy bites and I put it on like, a clean napkin and like I like pressed it and like so much came off of like that one piece and I just was like ooh I'm kind of grossed out that I ate like a bit of these because they yeah we didn't really eat didn't a lot of it we'll be honest spoiler we didn't enjoy this no not at all I really what? tried to. Yeah, um, we tried eating it because, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to eat the food. Yeah, eat the food. I just couldn't. Like, I just, I hated my cheesy bites. Like, yours was good. Um, but <laughs> I liked good. my wings better. Um, and your wings were like, yours were okay too. But it was kind of like, I don't know. It was just a weird flavor, I think, because of the Cheeto. But, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, in no, general, absolutely. I just did not like the cheesy bites at all. No, no, no. Like, like overall, it was not the best experience eating all of it. Um, and, and I was having a laugh about it. Be like, oh, you're just being a baby about it and whatnot. I started feeling <laughs> sick after eating more of the yes. cheesy bites than I did yours. Yeah. Like, like, at most, we what? had, like, what, one wing each? Maybe two? Yes. I think I had, like, two. And, like, we and had maybe, like, a one. couple of the cheesy bites for each. Yeah, so not, you didn't not even... A lot. You didn't even want to eat mine because you were like being a baby about the fact. That I was, it was absolutely like, being a baby about it because it was, you know, it was spicy. <laughs> it wasn't even that spicy though. It wasn't that bad, but you were just so like scared to eat it, <laughs> which yeah, is really I, funny. I was like, oh, I don't want to eat it. and then I ate. It, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it wasn't amazing. It's not that bad. No, definitely not. But yeah, it just. And like honestly, like I don't know. Our waitress kind of like freaked me out a bit. Why, because um, she had tattoos? Damn. No, because... I don't hat. know. She just, like... <laughs> like, I don't know what it was. She just gave me, like... She just gave off, like, an awkward vibe. Because when she came to check on us... I think it was because she knew we didn't like the food. Cause I think she knew. Because she gave me that vibe of, Oh, I know they don't like their food. And I think she was just kind of preparing for us to complain to her. 
Oh um, no, we're not. We're not that kind of people. Yeah, we're, yeah. It's not of course her fault. We did the food it. sucks. It's yeah, the, it's she didn't the, the food make that it. sucks. Yeah, she didn't make it, but it was just so funny because she just would come by occasionally check on us, like, "Oh, are you guys doing okay?" And she would just kind of stare at us, like, "Oh my <laughs> gosh, is this it? Are they gonna tell me something about the food?" No, and, no, we were absolutely polite and mean and generous. Yeah, about it, but I, yeah, we were absolutely not liking our experience <laughs> with yeah, the food. She, Restaurant was fine. People were very, uh, very cur- courteous and uh, very yes. attentive. Yeah, she was very nice. I just felt bad because I think she knew we didn't like it. Like, I know she overheard us. Like, like we didn't like it. I'm pretty um, sure everybody heard us. Yes, we were like very loudly critiquing the food, which mm-hmm. is really funny because, like, I'm sure people around us were like, "What are they? What the hell are they doing? Like, why are yeah, they eating here? the food?" <laughs> but I just couldn't help it. I was like, "It's just pile. Like, it's just grease, and it's like what? It's just a plate of grease and like food on top. Like, it's not very. It's not appetizing. Oh no, to, like." Wasn't seafood like that no uh, yeah i mean this is not chicken on seafood <laughs> but yeah no i the cheesy bites i really didn't get it as a cheesy bite i really just thought it was like chicken bites to be honest no but i kept telling you it was like a a shitty mozzarella stick like i like i love mozzarella sticks i i will i will slap for those um right like, uh, but you expect them to be crunchy. These are chewy. These are like, yeah, uh, like if chewy. you left um, a mozzarella st- or like a, a, a string cheese out, uh, and it got warm. Uh, mm-hmm. l- like that's the kind of like it was chewy, but it was like tough kind of chewy. Like it was semi hard. Like um, so you had to you had to put a little bit of effort into actually like mm-hmm. munching it down. Um, that's that's why I felt like. They had, like, I don't know. But then again, if they did, like, any type of weird thing, like, frozen cheese, it would have immediately, like, exploded in the fryer. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. It just... No, it may, no, feel... may have gotten, like, on a, a like, more crunchy of a skin and be like, oh, look at that. It's yeah. not mushy. But, yeah, I mean, the... I don't know. The amount of yeah. oil that covered it was, like, mm. erroneous. Like, they didn't strain it at all. They strained the wings, but not the, the cheesy bites. Yeah, like, my wings oil-wise, like, they were better, but the Cheesy Bites, it just, it just looks, like, so gross. Like Yeah, like, you started, you started splitting it off, and you, you were starting to get sick about how much oil was, like, on the bottom. And yeah. I was, too, like, my, like I, once we were packing everything up and leaving, and I was, like, you know, still making fun of you for being a baby about it, and I started feeling sick, and I wanted to throw <laughs> up, because of, like, the, the, the smell coming off it was making me go, it's, yeah. like, and I, I just shut up at that point, because I couldn't make any more jokes, because if I kept talking, that something was going to come out. Yeah, like, for me, I have a sensitive stomach, so... I really tend like tend to avoid like overly greasy foods mm-hmm. if I can, um, because if I just have too much, like it's just I just don't feel well. I just feel like no. Nauseous. I don't think in general anybody eating that much grease would feel good. Mm-mm. Like you don't sit there and be like, ah, oh, my daily dose, and just start <laughs> sucking it up. But I'm not even a straw. You just Patrick that thing and just put your lips all over that and oh, just start licking it clean. But, like this is where the flavors. <laughs> that would be awful. Yeah, because then I'd be like, what kind of podcast is that I'm making? What's going on over there? <laughs> I want to be a part of that. So, so, what would you say was like your overall experience of like your like your wings, like your my wings? Bites? My wings, I did not like them. I liked your wings better than mine because yours looked more like wings, and mine looked like they were just like burnt and uh, old. Like, uh, like that's what I got from that. Like yours were like at least colorful, and mine were just like you left them out and they got sun dried tomatoed kind of way. That's like they, true. They, they became because orangey. like. Comparing the pictures, yours looks like orange chicken, like really, like heavy like, dark orange chicken. Like, no, like overcooked like orange chicken. Like it, mm. you know, like because you know how orange chicken, like it's really really crispy. Like it looks like that, kind of in a way. Like it kind of looks like some pieces, anyways. Like I can tell some pieces they look fine, but then some of the smaller ones they look like overly like crispy, which is yeah. odd. Yeah, I, I would expect you know wings to uh, to maybe not not deep fry, but at least you know have some kind of texture to them and be like nice and hot and be uh, juicy and flavorful because you know that's what you're you're deep frying them for is they will have added juice into there'll be more moisture. Um, didn't really get that. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. Um, it wasn't chewy or dry. But it, it wasn't, like, something that I would write about, you know, even with all of this, uh, with all the flavors they had in it and whatnot, and the advertising they're clearly uh, showing. 
uh, in the pictures of how beautiful. Like, I wish we got those. I wish yeah. we had that kind of, of uh, Cheetos wings because then I'd be like having like stories to tell and songs to sing about these things. Absolutely not. We're basically we're just grinding this thing into the dirt. Uh, if you haven't realized that, we did not like these wings or these Cheetos bites. Okay, wait. So, I like googled the cheeto wings because i'm like i'm wondering if anybody else had like a similar experience there's a review video that somebody did and their wings looks like perfect damn like like damn. the advertisement wow maybe we just like, went to a really shitty restaurant then, oh apparently. my like i'm gonna send it to you it's it's so crazy to see it look like properly made we really oh wow i'm so angry <laughs> we did not like get we didn't have a chance <laughs> like, like just the thumbnail alone his like, haircut look at that like that's some sleek slick gelled hair dude that's that's some nice hair his n- a little weird though like that's not nice no that's true that's not nice. that's not very nice you no. shouldn't say that about people i know i, know. I say that about myself all the time um <laughs> glad that I had uh and i uh, edited that part out um Good thing I'm editing this. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, looking at that, it looks like it, it comes in a nice, like, trick. Maybe we should have got ours to go. Maybe that's what the <gasps> thing is. Well. What? There's even another video. Their wings looks fine, and their cheesy bites pull apart. What? How like, bad of an experience did we get? We got, like, the worst. We're the, we're the reasons why there's a one-star review. And everybody's going, like, oh, oh mine are good. My, mine is, like, a, a, like, four or five. This is amazing. And we're sitting over being, like, oh, I wish I had that experience. We're, oh the, my, we're that people. We had that oh kind of look. Oh, gosh. This is, like, the long end of you. <laughs> what? No. Why? Hold on. Let me that see is so insane to me. Oh, my God. Dude, those look way better than ours right oh my, oh my god. god they we look like they have the less worst. grease they have the like we had the worst experience definitely um wow that's crazy that's so crazy how different like it looks you know oh yeah absolutely well i mean uh it, it just goes shows like uh it's different for every restaurant but like it, I, I would expect it to be like somewhat more uniform I would love yeah. to have had that kind of that win experience with them, you know, because then I'd be like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be, and this is, like, amazing. No, we just got the worst end of it. The, everything we did. was greasy. We really did. Mine looked burnt. Uh, yours looked okay. Comparatively to, like, the uh, advertisement for the actual thing and how this guy is showing theirs, nine day. It's clearly nine day for us. It's, wow. Like, seeing people's, like, reviews of it like right now it's wow we really got the worst experience and that's so sad because everybody else's that looks really great it does look like it would taste really great like it would taste really good i maybe considering that uh, how we ate it and how we tried it wasn't uh it wasn't groundbreaking us like i've had better wings at places yeah yeah, like All I, I, I definitely have too. But it's yeah. like I would have liked to have an actual like proper experience to try it, um, and we were practically robbed. Absolutely. Fifty dollars to have a dollars. shitty experience. We should have complained. That's. <laughs> I would have complained about it. I should have because the fact that we spent like that much and then we got like the worst like. We we have like hardly any it. we hardly ate anything. Maybe like a hand, yeah. not even a handful of stuff. Like, but again, we were using forks because we don't want to be sharing germs with each other, uh, because you know COVID. Uh, and plus, you know, to be polite, because I'm not gonna stick my finger in my mouth and like just start, you know, fiddling with her wings that she has right there and be like, oh yeah, let's get that flavor in there. No fork, eat it, you know, and separate the whole thing. Regardless of that, it wasn't something that I would say was amazing. You know, like I should be able to get this. And be like, oh, I can't replicate this at home. No, absolutely, just make wings at your home, and all you have to do is just crust up some Cheetos, and just sprinkle that on there, and you mm. basically have the exact same thing. I yeah, I feel like at home I can make a such a better cheesy bite, and if anything, I would actually just make it a mozzarella stick in general. Yes, because I, I would see that. 
I think that would be a better vessel for it anyways instead of like a bite. Yeah, like kind of an actual. And even if you get like five of them or something. Uh, mm-hmm. But judging how much like we actually fizzed that, I'm pretty sure there's like 10, cheated, 10 mozzarella sticks right there. Um, mm-hmm. I would enjoy that because, you know, it would be crunchy. And there would be Cheetos flavor on there. And I'd be like, oh, this is amazing. No, no, it's this mushy, tiny little thing on there mm-hmm. with, with sprinkles of, of Chester's cocaine on there. <laughs> like, I think... Or, gonna... Sorry, I kept saying it was dandruff. Never mind. <laughs> Were you saying dandruff? I, just I was saying it was cocaine, dandruff. But... It was this cheesy... I was just oh, his dandruff right gosh. there. He just scratched his head and it was you know, <laughs> it coated it. <laughs> I think I think I want to try and like experiment one day and actually attempt to do like a hot Cheeto mozzarella stick and then I'm pretty see... sure we can figure something out. And then yeah, I want to try and do that and then see if that turns out better, which I'm sure it will in yeah, some it's so way. Mean, not processed. Well, not only that, it's not going to be on a plate with grease. No, because like we'll absolutely strain it out first, you know, and, yeah. uh, and I just towel can't it get, off. I just can't get over what a shitty experience we had. Like, comparing it to everybody else's experience of trying, like, the wings and the bites, it's just night and day. No, absolutely, it is night and day, and that's the disappointing part about it. Mm-hmm. And, like, to be honest with you, like, I don't like Applebee's. I really don't. Uh, this like, is, I think, the first time I've had Applebee's ever. I, I don't like Applebee's at all I, i've never it's not really like the servers or anything it's just the food i've never really enjoyed their food and like i said it could just be like the locations that we have like you know these people that are reviewing it they probably have great locations and they don't fuck up their food you know like it looks great yeah um, but we're not one but, of those big towns you know? yeah we're, we're a medium-sized town yeah so the applebee's that we have uh, and i would have thought the one that we went to that was farther would have been nicer um no (laughs) like the locations we have they just don't ever really cook the food great um it's why i never enjoyed applebee's food i just felt like they never make the food good it's just never tasted great to me like the only thing that tasted good um was the tortilla soup that i ordered um so i had ordered a tortilla soup because i just wanted to get the flavor out of my mouth of the cheesy bites because I, I just needed to eat something else. So I'm like, can I just get a cup of tortilla soup? <laughs> like, I was just so over the entire thing. Like, I was over the greasy plate. I was just over the mushy breading. Like, just all of it. I just had enough. I just wanted soup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I, I should have gotten something because I was saying, like, oh, I'll just go get pizza afterwards. I didn't want to eat anything afterwards. I mm-hmm. felt that bad. Like, I was, like, yeah. gross and sick. And oh, and and they didn't have the, the Mountain Dew that you wanted to try. I know. I wanted to try the Mountain Dew because it was blue, like, literally clear as day. Chester's <laughs> right there, a, a cardboard cutout on your left the moment you walk into the door. Um, and you see them, and he's holding the cheesy bites and the wings, and in his right hand he has the uh, the Mountain Dew blue. And it literally was blue. And I was like, I want to try that. Because that's just straight up a color you can drink. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, they didn't have it. And I was like, well, shit. I might as well just get the, the water and, and the Diet Pepsi. Uh, and I only drank the Diet Pepsi. Because that, that was the flavor that washed away everything in the uh, in the Cheetos. Because you needed to get that, that mouth or that taste out of your mouth. But yeah, I was so disappointed. Because I wanted to try that. I wanted you to be like, here, drink this. And see what you think, and let's see how it went. Nope, they just didn't have it. And I was no. like, it, it's not worth asking around to other Applebee's, but like, hey, do you have the Mountain Dew Blue? And like, yeah. And I'll drive like 30 minutes to go drink something and have a sip of it, and be like, eh, it's bad, and just pour it down the yeah, sink or something. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's all right. It's like, yeah, not it's great. Like, you know. Yeah, that tastes like blue. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> just like it how grape soda blue. tastes like uh, not grape soda. It tastes like I it tastes like color purple. I would think it would just taste like kind of like a variation of the Baja, but I've never I've, had that. The Baja is good. The Baja Blast I, is good. I, I know my sister loves it. My little sister, she loves it from Taco Bell. Like the yeah, Baja Blast. Yeah, it's good. It's I don't good. know. I don't drink Mountain Dew because it messes with my heart because it's too much caffeine. Mm, it's a lot yeah. of caffeine in those. Um, that is but true. yeah, that's why I was like, oh, you know, it, it's whatever. You know, I would love to have had it with everything. I doubt it's gonna make the whole experience of it better, but. What can you do? Yeah. All right. You want to rate the food now? 
Yes. Um, right, I want to do first. it out of 10. I want to do it out of 10. Out of so. 10 out of 100? Out of 10. No, out of 10. Damn. No, I mean, not out of 100, just out of 10 in general. Like, I just want to rate it like that. Because all together, our experience. Yeah, like, and how would you rate everything? Like, all your meal and my meal, how would you rate I it? I give it a 2. A 2? Out, out of 10? Mm -hmm. Damn, that's really low. I, I I would agree to that, you know. I, I would say that it was pretty bad. Um, mm -hmm. It's not the worst thing I've had because it did make me feel sick afterwards. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I would give it about, like, a three. Mm. Like, because I didn't throw up like I usually do like, <laughs> with some places. So you it had you that going for it. Up, you would have given it a two. <laughs> I would have given it a lower score because it basically gave me food poisoning or made me feel very ill. But no, it, yeah. was, it was decent. So, yeah, absolutely. I would give it, like, a three out of 10 uh so the average score would be about what 2.5 for everything uh yeah i guess so yeah so basically so. a hard f a ho it, it just failed yeah. everywhere i didn't get my I... shirt can i didn't know that was a thing <laughs> i didn't have the color blue oh, i want to i want to look up what the shirt can even looks like like what is that if it's like a shirt but like half of a shirt uh i would love to see that I'm trying to see what it's supposed to. Let me see. Shirtkin. We'll look up shirtkins and be like, oh, here is this thing. It's like, oh, it's it's, uh, it's like a hidden item. It's like a you gotta dig for it to find anything. Okay, so it's literally. <laughs> is it half a shirt? Is it a shirt cut out? I'm watching Send me someone. It. I'm watching somebody, <laughs> like review it or like wear. It. It's literally a white T-shirt with a pocket. On like the right or your left side, and it just says Applebee's Cheetos. Why? That's it's all it is. It's basically a shirt. That's Who carries all it is. those? It's just a plain white t shirt. So, customers are supposed to ask about this? Like, hey, you got the shirt can? Yeah, I got a white t shirt I can give you. Yeah, give me this white shirt, and I'm just going to coat it with salt. I want to wipe my fingers all <laughs> over just, it. That just. That just seems so nasty I want nasty people to know to that me. I can't be controlled and that mm. I'm a messy eater. I just eater. want to show people how much of a messy eater and Wipe how much I... Wipe your boogers on it, too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. That's you got gross. Your nose. No. <laughs> it's like, that what's that green looks, stain? Oh, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> that looks so bad. It's just a plain white t-shirt. Like, I thought it would have been cute or, like, had a funky color, like a Cheeto, like the Cheeto color. But no, it's just... That's really lame. They had a chance to make it cute, and they chose not to. <laughs> At least theme it in a way. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They could have made it, like, orange or something, or, like, like something. Maybe, maybe Cheeto didn't want to ruin their or their uh, their character by having people <laughs> wipe their fingers on Cheeto, it. Enough to it at home. Cheetos, Cheetos is like, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you have our wings. That's enough for now. You can sprinkle the, our dandruff on your wings, but you can't, have it, uh, you can't wipe your fingers on, on our on a shirt literally oh my gosh yeah yeah so definitely a good thing when you get the shirt can it mm. does not really look that nice it would have been funny to have them and like oh look at this i had these shitty wings but hey i got a yeah. shirt can out of it i'm like i'm sure it's comfortable but in terms of like design wise it's very not great it's very boring imagine it's made by like hanes or something <laughs> like, oh, like fruit shirt. of the loom like shirt yeah. Yeah, but it's got, like, the Cheeto stains on it that you'll never get out of again. So it's I'm just like, gonna... All you would have to do is just literally get, like, a plain white t-shirt and just, like, iron on. Like, you know how you do the iron on designs? Just make your own, and that's it. That's the shirtkin. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, obviously stain it up with the with your cheesy fingers. <laughs> and then try to turn that into an art piece or something. I was like, this is what yeah, I just, just, just paint the Cheeto mascot with your saucy fingers and oh, then your yeah, shirt super has a cool design. and the oil that it comes with it too so oh and the oil, oil yes painting. the oil definitely cannot forget the oil that's for the sure we gotta paint something part. with that much oil we had <laughs> right, i could well, like cook something with that <laughs> yeah absolutely well that's the food you know, those are yes. experience. Obviously, you know, wasn't great. Food wasn't good, but I mean, the the service, you know, was was good. Uh, the yes. You know, she was very attentive, uh, and yes. uh, pretty sure we made it very awkward for everybody that was in there of us yelling about <laughs> dandruff. We definitely and did. Yeah, and talking definitely about the food. did. Oh, there was a little a little girl that you know was waving hi to us, and I was. You know, oh I was yeah, she was about cute. Like that. 
Yeah, yeah we were in the cute. middle of critiquing too. When she... Yeah, right in the middle of it too. And I was like, "Do you want to try one? You want to be part of the food bucket? And just, just be like, here, try this from a stranger. Tell yeah, me what here, you think. child, take this food from which you do not know if you can trust from me, a stranger. That yeah, would <laughs> and give me a rating from one to ten. Apparently, that would have been a horrible idea if you did that. Yeah, I mean, it'd be funny though. No, wait, you wait, got your story. ass kicked by her dad. Yeah, her dad was right there too. It's like, uh, oh, who's the stranger offering my kid food? It's like, I'm not going to eat it. Here, take this. My family can eat it. <laughs> and you didn't want to take it to your family because your family wouldn't be able to eat it either. Mm-mm, no, definitely. No, that's, so that stuff just went straight into the trash, When I, uh, to be honest. Like, the next day, we just got thrown away. Yeah, I don't blame you. It wasn't great. No, it was a waste of uh, $56 what it was. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. But I mean, what do you gotta do? <laughs> All right, well that was everything. Uh, so uh, make sure to check us out on our, on our socials. You know, we got uh, we got a podcast, obviously. So you know, go ahead and give us like a like, a thumbs up, or or rate us rate us the max rating that you can. Uh, we do this what we'll do this like every other week. Uh, yes, just, you know, so keep up with it. So uh, every biweekly, uh, check it out uh, when you can. And then, you know, if you want to see the the stuff, uh, the visual stuff, like our pictures and whatnot, and the actual, like, advertising versus what we actually got, you know, you'll, you'll have to see that on our YouTube page. Or maybe I'll post it on our um, on our Twitter and be like, here's, uh, here's the pictures from, like, what we got and our experience with it. <laughs> it was so bad. It's so it was, night and day. It was not. It, it, when it, it looks that contrasted, not a great experience. Even the guy, just, like, wearing the shirt can. Like, his looks great. Like, everybody Again, else is like great. I ours. think we may have should have got it to go because everybody has those con- to-go containers. I know. I'm like, do they just make the to-go containers better than the in-restaurant ones? Like, uh, you would expect that they'd be the opposite, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe we'll try that next time. We'll, like, we'll ask our food to go and see how it looks. <laughs> see how All right. The difference. Well, that was everything. All right. My name is Will. This is Darian. We'll see yes. you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.